Put that in your bed. Here's my, here's my schedule. Uh, left for Omaha on Friday, two shows. Saturday, Omaha. And I wake up for the airport at 3.30. I got out of the comedy club at 1.30. 3.30, woke up, went to the airport, flew to Chicago, flew to Austin, hauled ass yesterday to my son's baseball game, where, by the way, we did win the championship, um, which was awesome. Loved it, not complaining. Now, waking up to go to Reno to go play with chocolates. Okay. Are y'all heading out? No. They're going to wait till we're back. We're back. Oh, okay. My buddy, you'll be careful, okay? Rebecca's going to take the last one. Have a safe trip. Okay. Steve, we'll see you later. Have a safe trip. Have a safe trip. Let's go, pretty girl. Uh, she always puts her makeup on in my car, dude, and it drives me crazy. No, I have and my you know makeup what she on. Does? I'm just gonna put my mascara. Don't put I'm, makeup fingers. I will not put. I'm not gonna put that makeup on. I'm like, there's stuff all over my visor. My visor was tan or white, and I'm like, what is that on there? Well, then I finally figured it out. <clears throat> Renee was doing her makeup in my car so much <laughs> that she'd have makeup on her hands, and then she'd put it all over my visor. So no more makeup fingers. Real madness. Miss Captain Evil, where are we? We are in Reno, Nevada, and you know these chocolates are damn good because that was the longest flight ever. <laughs> it was, dude, it was long. You didn't even hold my hand. You tried to hold mine. I wasn't trying to hold your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you were blocking me. There's a difference. <laughs> then when you actually taste it, it like melts in your mouth differently because uh -oh, here it we are. have it. Okay, Perfect let's timing. go. Let's go. Hi, welcome. Oh my goodness, hello. hello. I'm Dorinda. I thought she was kicking us out. She's like, listen, you homeless nice people gotta go. Thank you for having us. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Oh, you're 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 I'm gonna forget all your names. You're yeah, I'm gonna Renee, nice to meet you. <laughs> you know he's important. Has the magic coat on. See that? Oh my gosh, Renee, look! Why don't you have a mic on right now? We gotta get your mic off. Google how much this will cost to have in my house. I want this as people walk in the door. It'll be in our little foyer area. Chocolate just pouring. Mm. Oh my god! No, oh, it's so good. I mean, how about this? My flower on it. My oh, god. Um, Steve loves biscotti. That's his favorite too. Jeez, Louise. It's all natural, no preservatives. Holy crap! You use beet juice. Yeah, but we don't usually tell people because people go, oh, it's going to taste like... No, well, it's beautiful. Beans, but... No, instead of Red Dye 40, also yeah. if you want to scare yourself, right. look up Red Dye 40. Yeah. yeah. Right. And Menorah, which will show you our chocolate humidor, that's, that's my piece right there. It's like... Oh my god. Have you tried the peanut butter bomb? <laughs> no, but I'm willing to. Do you want a bomb? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god! Trace baby! Renee, if you don't put one of these in your boxes, <laughs> I will no longer play with your box. Let me oh, know. My oh my god. It is unbelievable. Oh, well, I've already had like five pieces of chocolate. They're so oh good. Oh my god. This is a humidor, not for cigars. <laughs> it's a chocolate keeper, okay. and it keeps it at the perfect humidity and the perfect temperature to keep the chocolate before we send them out, right? So. It's not a refrigerator because chocolate's worst enemy is water or moisture. So you don't ever want to put your chocolate in a refrigerator. What happens? The water just takes it out of temper. Have you ever had a Hershey bar that was white? 
you put it in the refrigerator, or melt, you put it in the refrigerator, and then you unpack it and it's white because it comes out of temper. Uh -huh. But moisture is just bad for chocolate, so this is a humidifier just to help keep the chocolate. Um, number one, the bomb. Uh huh. Two, the caramel. Oh, the cherry. Three, you wish you had one. Three, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Kraken. This, the Kraken. That's three. And then th uh, I kind of go back and forth between these two because that one tastes so different than a piece of chocolate. Because it doesn't really have chocolate in it. It's amazing. Yeah. Here you cannot lift the spoon. How many pieces a week are you guys producing? Oh, I don't know, 10,000? Oh, they don't waste any chocolate. I'm over here watching him work and he literally now has scraped off the chocolate and it goes back in? Yep, goes back in. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Zero waste. He comes, he did the little, I want to do that. <laughs> Renee's not used to giving me extra large. She doesn't give me that much credit. <laughs> I felt like OJ Simpson. The glove did not fit. Fat hands, short fingers. Okay. All right, you guys come around here with me here. Oh, what's happening? What do I hear? Breaking away from the mold. <gasps> I, I can hear it. I thought that was the camera clicking. <laughs> yep, there's one. True chocolatier is somebody who could temper chocolate because it's, you can't just read it in a book, it's a feel. Cups. <laughs> it's stuck in my finger. I'm laughing because I'm like, I'm gonna pick all peanut butter. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm then those. Dorinda's chocolate. You love the the biscotti cookies that they give you on the airplane. Dude, it's incredible. I'm doing it this here. Oh my god. Is that amazing? You get into the bigger level and and there's probably not as much love. But there's a lot of chocolatiers, artists, and chocolate shops that this is this is it's, it's a passion. When you look at them, you go, of course they're handmade. They're not perfect. They're perfectly imperfect. Because they're handmade. They are handmade. So basically these guys, it's all hand jobs. <laughs> Honestly, I bring this woman all kinds of stuff. And, 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 and if I'm being completely honest, it was one of those like, hey, my friend Mark gave me those. Right. You didn't I, I didn't sell it. I didn't go, oh my gosh, you have to try this. I yeah. just go, hey, I just got off the road. I was tired. I go, hey, here's some chocolates. And then she comes to me and goes, I have to have more now. <laughs> I see. So we have her to thank. <laughs> yes. You're going to talk okay, to the left of the camera. You want to go stand back there. You want to sit back here? Yeah. On a stool? Yeah. So, and you know the deal, honey. If I ask you a question, repeat the question. Yes. Who, why, what, and where. Yeah. Right? What were you doing? Where are we? How did this come about? Look for that heart. Right. When you're a mom, it's the, yeah. it's the simple gifts right you don't need you don't need a lot right yeah. but you also want it to be nice and thoughtful Renee talking shit take one <laughs> now I'm gonna cry that was amazing is there anything else uh, Dorinda that maybe that I don't know that you would like to ask I would just say family legacy yeah, that's, that's what, what I want the family legacy right so and he's doing it so I always wanted to write a book and it was called how to Fa change your family stars He's doing it. Thank you. And it's so funny you say that because you're going to be emotional. You know, I, I always say that if it wasn't for the military, for my dad, you know, the military helped him change our stars. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing. It is amazing what you can do when you want to. You know, and, and I know you're saying that he's doing it, but I got to be honest with you. It starts with you. Yeah. What a beautiful day, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Super simple. Yeah. What up, Mike? Morning. Morning, buddy. Did you bring your shit over here? Yeah. Travis, I'm not kidding you, dude. Whatever. It'll change your life. If, if you're a chocolate guy, it'll fuck you up. It's, it's like the first time you go to a steakhouse and realize that all this time you have not been eating good steak.
Was this a successful trip? I think so. Uh, on the craps table, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. I had a great time. I was entertained. And we were up and down. We lost a little bit of manis, but that's okay. So yes, <laughs> very successful. The chocolates are more successful than the casino.